Samaj 24 hour radio. What's up, y'all? Let's watch this together. I just saw this on the news, and y'all know how I do. Sometimes I just don't want to watch it by myself. Sometimes I just want to go live with you guys. Let's see this together. Um, I saw like the first two seconds. I'm like, oh no, what's going on? Mother, Michigan mother caused to get officer suspended for arresting 11 year old son. Let's see. Oh, wait. September 2nd, 2018. Today's September 3rd, 2018. Wow. Yesterday. Okay. Can oh, you man, imagine how differently you would show up to write your book? Hard to watch police body cam video from Grand Rapids, Michigan, showing officers with guns drawn confronting 11-year-old twin boys and their 17-year-old friend. One of the twins sobbing as police order him to walk backward, then they handcuff him on the ground. Tonight, the police chief says the officers acted appropriately, while the twins' mother is calling for an investigation. Here's ABC's Janae Norman. This body cam video has a mother tonight calling for Grand Rapids police officers to be suspended. On top of your head, ma'am. Police say these boys fit a description from a 911 call about two males who might have a weapon. Same general location. Black male, approximately 13 years old, carrying possibly a toy gun. Not sure. He is uh, wearing a red shirt and walking with another black male in a black shirt. The boy's mother says seeing an officer pointing his gun at her children makes her sick to her stomach. Why do you put my 11-year-olds in handcuffs and draw guns and point them to their heads? How old are you, bud? How old are you, bud? All right. You hear that child sobbing in the video that shows officers cuffing and searching the two boys and a 17-year-old family friend before putting them in a cruiser. Have a seat. A car like car, the police chief is defending his officers. When someone calls 911 and says, I see young men with a handgun, we're going. Someone called and said that uh, a black male, about 13, had a gun in his hand. We didn't say it was you. But the boy's mom says the incident has traumatized her young sons. Scared. The police may shoot them. When is it going to stop? When they hurt someone? When officers searched the boys for weapons, found nothing, then let them go. What? Janae Norman for us. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks. So, you guys, isn't that interesting? The boys were wrongfully identified, right? So, you got a couple black boys. Young in age, one wearing a red shirt. Oh, first black boys, you see young in age wearing a red shirt, you're guilty, right? Because y'all know us, we are guilty first, and then we have to prove ourselves to be innocent. And this is what happened, right? The officers did all this attacking of these boys, mentally attacking. I say physically as well. In so many ways, by handcuffing the kids, even... Too much interaction, altercation, no way. That's too much. Okay. And now they say, well, we didn't find anything. So you get to go your way on home, young man. But just know who we are if you see us again. We're going to put this fear in your heart. We're going to make you afraid. Just like you already was afraid. Now you're going to be terrorized in your brain. Now you may have to seek psychiatric services Oh, this is September. Don't school start this month? Hmm. If his school has not already started, it will be starting soon. Okay. So this is very bad that these officers are accusing little kids of doing a crime when they have no clue if it's really them doing it. Right? The call said the person had a weapon. No weapon was found. So I think it should be another strategy. Why put guns on little kids? Thank you so much, ABC News, for reporting this to us. Some of this may not be true. Y'all know how the news do. But at least we got an understanding on more drama with negative bad cops arresting and harassing possibly very good black people. See ya.